each country would agree to take. As Prime Minister Johnson held an emergency session of Parliament in Westminster, an Afghan refugee and former interpreter appealed to him to save his family, who are still in Kabul. I'm in real trouble. Just because of my work, please, UK government, do not punish my family. To get out all the Afghans who helped us, whose lives are at risk, who will be slaughtered by the Taliban if we leave them behind. And that's been a bipartisan consensus, at least among veterans in Congress. We need to stay in Kabul. Negotiate the streets of Jalalabad. If you do negotiate the streets of Herat and find a way to get out of the Bagram Air Base, perhaps, then you could find yourself in Kabul where we can't even guarantee you you'll have access to the airport. And Joe Biden today at 4.30 wants to talk about booster shots. Mm. Do not let the, this administration distract you from the obscene way in which this military operation has taken place and the embarrassment that everyone feels from the guy who owns the deli, from the woman who's doing your nails, to the, uh, to the used car dealer. America is embarrassed by what we're doing right now and less secure. Brian Nilufar Romani is the first female Afghan Air Force pilot. Has this map message on the Taliban's resurgence? Listen. I do not want this story to repeat again. I do not want this for any other girls in the world to see this and go through this because it's very painful. Stay at home, to not move, uh, to wear certain clothing. This is how atrocities start. You know what I'm wondering too, and you, you, you know the country well and the customs well and the old Taliban pretty well. So when they say that they're, you know, uh, a different Taliban, we're trying to get in. So unless you have special buses and special ways of getting into the airport to the military side, you cannot get in. That's not true. And it's not the Taliban's fault, it's complete mayhem around the airport. And what about their people?